bro. What's up with you? You gonna go out? Hey, 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 how's everybody doing today? Oh, it is Friday. Friday. Something like that. Ross is kicking Suge Knight out of the studio. <laughs> See? Had to the cat out. Oh, had to be I, back. You know, you didn't have to tell him it was a cat. I just told him you were kicking Suge Knight out of the studio. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's the cat's name, but it's it sounds more thing. impressive if we don't bring up this cat. He's basically more scary. He's, he's more scary to me. <laughs> you think the cat? I mean, Suge Knight's in jail. What is, is he, he really going to do? Is he currently, like, Yeah, not... I, think, I think he's in jail for, like, attempted trouble? murder or something. I think. Do you ever watch people that you know have money? Uh-huh. And you're like, why are you still doing dumb shit? Oh, yeah, all the time. I, I, I actively, like, look at stupid rap news. Oh, my God, so right? I frequently encounter, like, people with money just doing stupid stuff and, and getting arrested and... It's like, dude, you're, you're, you have See, to be rich by now. I loved Miley Cyrus's take on it all because uh -huh. instead of like going bonkers, bonkers, I mean, everybody thinks, oh, Miley Cyrus went so bonkers. Like a normal person that age who had access to those kinds of things, we just mm -hmm. didn't have that access. She's like, I think I want to try everything. Mm -hmm. But her version of being caught doing something illegal, she posts a picture of her pissing in the parking garage. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, whatever you let, listen, get out of my life. I pee on you. <laughs> now there was a there was a rapper, uh, Sheck West. Mm -hmm. He made he made that song Mo Bamba, um, and and basically like he got caught in New York with a with a gun in a car, like New York where for, where you're not allowed to have guns at all. For why? <laughs> I, I don't you know, know I mean, dude. There's, like, there's this machismo thing that's like, oh man, I got a gun. Well, okay, maybe you should get along with people. <laughs> Well, no, if you have money, you hire a guy to 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 carry a gun for you. That's the this way is, to go. Uh, right? This was a conversation we had. I, 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 I was teaching lessons on how how to handle this situation. I looked at Young Ross, who those of you who have heard his music knows is going to blow up. Um, he, <laughs> Thank you. Oh my God, this stuff I mean, is amazing. And I'm telling you, he doesn't give you the best stuff because he doesn't like it. I'm just telling Not you, that's reality. I love the stuff that's up. Don't get me wrong. I do. I mean, Smile has always had my heart. I mean, mm -hmm. it's, yeah, man, right. It, that's, that's a pull on the heartstrings song yeah. all day long. Yeah, that's true. But I love his up-tempo stuff, too. What you say, <laughs> there's up-tempo stuff? I know. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, I, know, I, I know. I know. Well, but that, so what you do when you get big? He's like, oh, you know what? I'm going to have to get a gun permit. And he was going through the whole thing. And I said, no, 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 no. <laughs> that is not how that works. You hire a guy who professionally uses a gun. <laughs> well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do both. And if I if I go to a state where, like, they don't let you carry guns, because I, I know that there's, like, a, a traveling with guns across state lines, even if you have, like, one, even if it you have a license work. in one country, in one if, state, it's stupid. If but, you're touring, yeah, no, hire the guy that's taking care of making sure he's allowed to have the gun on him everywhere and do not have a gun. You, you've got another state to be in tomorrow. What are you doing? Throwing the guns out of the state lines? I'm saying, like, I want one for my house because I don't want to. No, no, no. I'm not saying don't. My no, house, oh, okay, you know? I apologize. Like, I, I want one. I want at least one for my house so I, that no, I can. I, I'm not. You know? No, I, I don't think that that's a bad idea as far as home security. No, I didn't yeah. mean that. I meant if you are out and about. Yeah. Yeah, I don't need. I don't. I don't you think want... I would need a gun out and about. I'm not suggesting anybody needs a posse because the whole posse thing in general what you want is you end up you make friends with a guy <laughs> also like i don't i don't think that i'm a person who attracts much bad energy i i make an effort to not attract bad energy i understand but i, I don't know there john lennon got killed so it's I, right you know what if it's gonna happen Random. it's gonna happen you know? nothing is nothing is permanent right I'm just sitting here watching the wheels go round and round. And John Lennon was cool. Like you know, I, I love I think, to watch him most turn. People, I think most people like John. I think, except for the 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 people who are probably mad at him for the Jesus statement. <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> oh wait a minute, we have bit, we have Yoko on the line. I think I. She says that she likes John, but she's mad he left. Ah! 
Ai, ô! Ai! Please stop! Please stop! Please stop! Please stop! But she said, thank you for thinking of her. Thanks, Yoko. I appreciate you calling in. That I, I love that we have oh such a close God. connection. But How funny would it be if we got Yoko to sing? She just did. What are you talking about? <laughs> we, that was Yoko on the phone. Everybody heard her. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah. Just don't look at the camera. Just don't. Don't Close look at eyes. the man behind the curtain. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Well, you know what? Well, you say that like it's always got to be video. These are all gonna go up. No, yeah, these are gonna go up as audio too. Yeah. The, the goal, the goal is we want to, we want to find you where you are. Yeah. And because I, I was actually on the podcast thing looking at it yesterday. Anchor. Uh huh. Anchor. No, 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 no. It was a a podcast group. Okay. And somebody had asked the question, video or sound, and almost everybody responded sound because then they could do it while they were doing other stuff. Right. That the video aspect is always hard. I mean, mm -hmm. unless you pay for YouTube Premium, your phone shuts off. And what do you mean? It goes to blank screen unless you're actively watching it. Really? If I'm not mistaken, like if you try to, I don't know. There's, it I doesn't... thought you could watch a whole video without it. Maybe. Huh. Well, I used to. I used to frequently watch podcasts, so that may be a new thing. Do you know what I do know about? Do well, no, you're big into watching as opposed to listening. Yeah, but I people to, that yeah. commute and stuff. Yeah. It's nice to have, but do you know what I do know about? What do you know about? I know what beaver butts taste like. Do you know what beaver butts taste like? Jesus Christ. Do you? Um, unfortunately, because we looked it up. Before what, what yellow gooey goodness comes out of beaver butts? Beaver butt juice. Smells. And tastes. And tastes like vanilla. <laughs> now, I don't know this from firsthand experience. You probably do. I, no, you I don't. You just don't realize it. I don't. You do, and you don't I realize it. I would like it. to think that I don't. I guarantee you've smelled a vanilla candle that was beaver butt scented. Probably, but like I don't want to know that it tastes like that. I don't, I don't, I didn't need to know when that. It comes you know? to the perfect candle. When you're looking for a romantic night. The smell of gentle musk and beaver ass is the smell that will make sure he makes a pass. I want to know who discovered this and, 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 and why. Why did they, why? Why would you ever have the thought of, I need to taste this? Like, why, why would that be your first thought? Why, why? You know where it comes. They had to have known where it came from. It's not like you just come across this by accident. Like. Well, I, so they're out in the woods. <laughs> I don't know what they're hunting. God. Hey, Joe Bob, you smell awful nice today. What's that cologne you's got on? It ain't me, Jim Bob. I don't know where that smell's coming from. Is it? Is it you, Billy Joe? No. Joe Bob, it ain't me. Well. Do you think it is that beaver's ass over there, perhaps, that smells so sweet? <laughs> How do you discover this? This is not, this doesn't make sense. Why would people, like, no, no. Okay, but wait a minute. I don't. Do, do, you, do you know what one of the most expect, expensive substances on the earth is? If you say beaver butt juice, I'm walking. Oh, no, sperm oil. Spawn right. Sperm whale vomit? I think it's sperm whale or blue whales. Yeah, they use it for something, right? They use it in perfume. Yeah, I've heard it's, that. That's where the musk smell comes I've from. I've heard that, yeah. So that comes... So that's why all perfume so and... we like to... Smells the same? Or similar, at least? What we want to do is make you smell like the wild. <laughs> Give you the true scent that will drive your man insane. <laughs> Cover yourself in whale spit and beaver ass, oh and you'll know in the end you'll be a winning lass. This is a very intimate act. Well, it's we're selling perfume here, man. No, but you don't need to whisper into their soul. Whale ass <laughs> from Calvin Klein.
No, it's vomit. So it's well, whale stomach. <laughs> spit. No, it's the it's the the it really is almost like the yeah it's the the choked up bit it's the yeah. It's the so nasty. they what make whales vomit? No, they find it. Oh, so it just comes out. Unlike the the crew of people that have been left to you know stroke the anal glands of beavers, unfortunately, we have yet to figure out how to <clears throat> make the whale spit as they. I don't say. know. I don't know when they stopped doing this, but apparently they they stopped doing that with the beavers. And they stuff. have not. Yes, they, it no, said it, that it they very, did. No, it very carefully says not, but then it talks about it still being used places. How can it be both? Oh yeah. Well, maybe they just have so much of it. That they haven't, they haven't used all of it yet. You know, we <laughs> maybe were... they stop. Maybe they stop taking them, but they just they haven't used all of it yet. Have you ever noticed how ahead of quota we are since we put John in charge of stroking the the anal glands on the beavers? I, I at the rate he's going, he's so enthusiastic that we maybe have a stockpile. I just like doing it. I just like doing it. <laughs> I don't know why we turned to John Lennon for that. All I know is there's a piece you can only <laughs> find in stroking the anal glands of a beaver. <laughs> there's peace. <laughs> Give anal glands a chance. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Oh my god. I I Yeah. I, I think I think I speak for everyone when I say that this is not information that humans needed to acquire. <laughs> I don't think that they, we needed to have well, this information but, but, but we as didn't a species. We have good vanilla bean here in the United States. I don't care. <laughs> we didn't need to know this, man. Oh my god, that needs to be one of the flavors. You know, how, like anymore <laughs> when you go get ice cream, there's like a million vanilla vanilla flavors. There's vanilla classic, uh -huh. vanilla bean, French vanilla. Yeah. Right. Beaver bean. Beaver bean. <laughs> we hand stroked the beans of these beavers. To give you the finest, creamiest ice cream ever known to man or beaver. <laughs> Can we change topics? I don't want to think about this anymore. It's so, taking up too much real estate in my What brain. we were talking about <laughs> is getting fried. I mean, what I've got up is like a uh, hamburger film sandwich. Uh huh. Is our movie for the day. It is actually more commonly known as Kentucky Fried Movie. Kentucky Fried Movie. Kentucky Fried Movie. Okay. Well, the, there's a thing that happens as you progress that there's a speed up. There's a, oh, my God, I need to get this done. Um, mm. Some of it comes across as you always feel like you're not doing enough. You, you get to the point where you're pushing so hard that you're actually pushing against yourself. Mm -hmm. That when you're burned out, mm -hmm. sometimes you need to sit in it because sometimes then the pieces all fall together. Yeah. I, I had this. Uh, so one of these days we'll talk about Matt has had some jobs. <laughs> so for a brief stint, I was turning a wrench at a garage. Trust me, I ended up moving into the office and doing the business side more mm -hmm. than the wrench side. I'm not great at the wrench side. Give me your basics. I can do that. But <laughs> anyways, uh, a good friend of mine, Paul Schuler. Also, in the end, the guy that leads into me knowing the guy with the golden voice. God, oh, really? Why can't I think of his name? The yeah, man with the golden voice. He's actually remember. he's got a show out right now. Really? Yeah, he's doing he's doing a show, highlighting his radio voice, as they say. Um, that Paul watched me one day. I was working on, I believe, a half axle, if I'm not mistaken. CV joint had gone bad on a vehicle. For those of you out there that actually know what the hell I'm talking about, I actually do for a change. Um, it was a CV axle, and the problem is it's a, a geared fitting, but there's also a pin that has to go in. So you have to get it in exactly right so that then you can put the pin in, but meanwhile you're under a car and can't see what you're doing. Can I speak for the audience? Who cares? I'm No, I'm very, very confused. Like You're going to see where yeah, I'm going. Yeah, I get you. I get you. So I'm working on this thing, man. I beat my head against it. I mean, I'm, I can't get it to go in right. It, it'll go in, mm -hmm. but then it's not in the right spot for the pin. It, like, I keep missing it by a tooth. Yeah. And I am just going insane. And finally, my buddy Paul's like, well, why? Dude, why don't you take like a 15-minute break or something, man? You're... So I go stand in the back, and Paul's got his 
his bag of tuna or tin of tuna. He endlessly eating tuna. He was like ripped and a massive, like not massive. No, he was just that he was really strong and took care of. Right. He tons of protein is what he probably put in. worked at it a lot. Yeah. Well, he was a guy that would turn a hundred hours a week out of a garage and only managed to be there about thirty. Really? But he was that good. So the way the way it works getting paid in a garage uh-huh. is it's based on what you do. It's called piecework. So if you're so good that you can do a five-hour job in two hours, I remember it being about 100 hours a week and about 100 hours a week out of his own garage. But it was that, man, he knew secrets. Anyways, mm-hmm. on to the secrets Paul shared with me. So he's sitting there eating his tuna, and he looks over at me and goes, you know, If you'd taken a break two hours ago, you would have been done two hours ago. And I'm like, what makes you say that? Yeah. You were beating your head against it. You 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 were getting in front of yourself. You were at the point that your own frustration was slowing you down. Mm. And I, you know, and he was, I, okay. Mm-hmm. You know, like kind of, it, it was like, and I went back and, yeah, it took about 10 minutes. Went right in, went right back together. Mm-hmm. That we forget to rest in it. Yeah, I uh, I try to like when I'm recording. I've started doing this. Like I did this the last time I tried to record some stuff. Um, I'll just I'll record something, and if I keep doing it over and over and over again, and I'm not liking the way it's coming out at all, I just move on to the next song. Because I need to get other stuff recorded. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter the order in which I get these things recorded for real, for real. In my head, I just need to get everything recorded. And I, if I need to be in the right mind state for this song, mm. I can't just keep doing this song if I'm not in the right mind state. I can't just... That's true. I can't just beat my head against it. The, gotta, hard, the hard part, yeah. it's kind of one of the hardest things with music because you're an artist, but at the same time, there's a clock. Yeah. Traditionally. Oh, yeah. We're kind of a different model, obviously. <clears throat> but... But even that, even with that, there's a there's an internal clock that goes on with it, you know? Oh, there's your feeling that you... That's what we're talking about. Yeah. But that's part of the problem. We get obsessed with that internal clock and forget that the universe isn't in, in as big a hurry as we are. Right. I mean, how many times have I said, you know what, sometimes the world puts speed bumps in your road because what you need to do is slow down. Hi, and good afternoon to Mom and Echo. I what an amazing support team we have. Yes, we we are very very fortunate. much so. Very very very. Oh my God, very. Getting out of your own way. Sometimes we end up with things that are our priorities or things we've that that we've written in stone. Mm. And then, as opposed to flowing with the river, we become the rocks themselves trying yeah. to stay stationary but beaten and eventually gone water always wins yeah it's a silly thing to stand there like a rock that moving against it is even harder obviously mm-hmm. um i also i also learned i learned that a little bit when i like work out because sometimes sometimes i set a goal mm-hmm. and I, I try to get to it and i realize halfway through i'm like this goal was way too high that's all that was. Well, I, it, it, I mean, like, there's, there's some, there's a bit of like, okay, you need to work hard and you need to push past the, the sludge of it all. But also, you gotta know when, like, your goal was just way too know high. When to hold them. Like, yeah. know when to fold them. <laughs> know when to walk away and know when to run. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, a Ganesha topic. Yes, yes. Giant, giant What's elephants that? stomping things out of the way. What's that? Well, that there's... In my head, and my mother would be far better at explaining, mm-hmm. but it's the reality that you have to move, that, that there's there's a going through it. Yeah. You have to get out of your own way. Yeah. Um, I think we both deal with that pretty constantly. Yeah. I don't know if people have figured out yet. I... I there's a re- I always pick a topic based on where we're at. Fridays and Mondays, I kind of wing it a little bit more, mm-hmm. but in a way that is relative to our situation. Um, 
the show about not putting on a show is the goal. Mm. That when I talk about trying to sit in difficult things, the whole idea of the show is you're joining us in sitting in difficult things, trying yeah. to find, we always talk about the lines because we're constantly tripping over lines. Yes. That, you know, people, we end up resentful, everybody else ends up resentful, but nobody said, here's the line. And so the line is constant, the lines are constantly moving. So if you don't discuss them, mm -hmm. what right do you have to the judgment, I guess, to the resentment, to the... Um, I definitely think that we... So, in case you didn't know, because there's no way you could have known. You guys could have known. But we had an argument last night. Yeah. It was, it was pretty bad. But I'm going to tell you all. I was um, totally unaware this was coming up. I don't well, remember. Well, the thing no, is. No, I'm just kidding. Is... I'm kidding. I'm, yeah, no, okay, yeah. No, the, <laughs> well, we had the an argument is, last night. The thing is that, like, the funny part is we both came back and we were both noodling on what we did. Yeah, absolutely. And I bring this up because I feel like part of that is we're both in a really healthy spot right now because of the fact that I can only analyze what I did and anything that I do to analyze what the other person did to some extent is gonna to not just not just to analyze that to to bring that up would just Become bring back up the argument well and in my head so the reason I in my head if I try and do that then I'm dealing with Mm -hmm. projecting self-justifications of why my behavior was okay. Right. right. What? Because it was my behavior. Right. Not because not because of your behavior, but because of mine. I have to acknowledge, one, that I crossed a line. And I also have to acknowledge that I need to apologize for this line. I need to apologize for what I did. At the same time, I mean, yeah, I can feel like I'm right, and I can, I can go off and be all self-justified and self-righteous and, and stuff, but what is that really going to do for making sure this relationship is a good relationship. Well, and how is it good for your energy? Exactly. Carrying that just sounds heavy. Exactly. It's, it is heavy. And there's, there's an important part of, okay, I need to establish lines I can't cross. Okay, or I, I need to establish lines that I have to figure out in myself. You know? Um, I think that, that action is really, really important, you know? I think, well... So I have a rule that gets me in trouble with everybody. <laughs> um, it's one that I made for myself a long time ago because I recognized the value of certain words to me. Mm. Um, I make it a point of saying thank you if I feel it and sorry yeah. if I feel it. Yeah. First off, immediately nobody is used to getting thanked that much. Right. You know, when little kids come down, and I mean, there's animals down here, and we have our own little, you know, weirdness in the office that everybody loves to see and we've been known to watch ninja turtles or bob ross or yeah but th they share a joy with me and i thank them every time they come and like wow i really appreciate you guys coming down they must think i'm crazy <laughs> but I, I i no i think it's i think it's more genuine to thank people more often i i i often forget to thank people for things i often forget and it's 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 something that i don't like about myself but i I know that if I don't like this thing about myself, I just have to change it. I have to work at it. I have to make it a priority. Um, and thankfulness is something that I definitely need to work at, you know? Um, not just that, but apologizing when I feel like I'm in the wrong, you know? Um, not even just that, but sometimes, sometimes apologizing when you don't feel like you're in the wrong can be important, too. That's true. I think. I, I, th I think... So, I think when you say sorry, mm -hmm. the trick is you mean it. Right. And it, like, sometimes what I'm sorry for is the way in which I dealt my part of it. Mm -hmm. Um, That my reaction adds to or is also responsible for how a situation goes. Mm -hmm. Um, I like to think when there's conflict, both people bring a pebble. Mm. Now, one option is... Keep throwing pebbles at each other. No, 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 no. One option is yeah. we get in an argument. Right. And neither of us air it. Mm. We both still leave our with our pebble, though, resentment. Right. Okay, so we're both carrying a pebble. Right. Option two. Mm -hmm. 
we all decide it's one person's fault. This person's now carrying two pebbles. Right. Okay. Option or, three, somebody takes all the blame, even though it's not their fault. They've got two pebbles. Or we look at it a little bit realistically and say, hey, we both came to this argument with a pebble. <laughs> and just throw the pebble away. <laughs> exactly. And just throw the pebble away. And figure out, okay, what do we need to do moving forward right. to make the, sure this doesn't happen the, again? The, the, you just throw the, get rid of the conflict. Yeah. The conflict part doesn't matter or solve anything. Yes. I know. I'm all over the place. Though. That's okay. That... That really does all of those pieces, mm -hmm. how you assess your part in things. Slowing down to see that mm -hmm. is the piece that you have to do to avoid the burnout part where suddenly you're pushing so hard but moving nowhere. Mm -hmm. um, and I have trouble with that. Mm -hmm. I, you know what? I've come to the real realization. The, wow. <laughs> there was a word in there. The real realization. Oh my real God, realization. my mouth. Uh, the real realization that I forgot what I was about to say because I said real realization <laughs> over and over again. So I've really realized that. <laughs> Do you? Can you back me up or not? Um, I can. Um, I feel like I realized that. Okay. Even if I didn't feel like I was wrong in the moment for doing this thing, I can acknowledge that what I did was not the best thing to do for this relationship and this argument. Mm, yeah. And or or this conversation. So I can acknowledge that I still did something wrong, even though I didn't feel like I was wrong. You know, I that may sound like I'm trying to justify it, but in my head it's a little bit more like I'm trying to fix the relationship as opposed to worrying about who's right or who's wrong you know yeah i don't want to worry about who's right or who's wrong oh, it's it, irrelevant that, that to me that energy doesn't change something it's just something that screws everybody up yeah that in the end our ability to communicate yeah but also our ability to look inside because i find the more i look inside the more i understand outside yes the more i accept that all of these things i'm feeling inside mm -hmm are part of a shared experience, mm -hmm. then it's easier when there's turmoil Yeah. for me to go, I understand where that comes from. I'm not judging your humanity. Yeah. I understand and see. I see that you're having a hard time with it all. Yeah. yeah. I see all, I, I am drawn to all living things, as mm -hmm. we all know, and they appear to be often drawn to me. Including a little robot vacuum, which I haven't quite figured out how that works. He, I'll go upstairs, <laughs> and Gretchen follows me everywhere. Oh, Gretchen, the... <laughs> Gretchen is the robot vacuum for those who are not follow. I didn't know there was a name. For there's, that. there's a name, but every time I go upstairs, Gretchen will find the room I'm in and then circle around me for a while, just bumping into my feet, and I'm like, right. <laughs> I'm just saying, I, man, the age of automation's coming. You guys better be ready. <laughs> I mean, I got Gretchen on my side. I, I feed her a little bit of hair fluff or something every once in a while, keep her happy. I don't know. <laughs> That's funny. But that one of my greatest joys is in seeing my own fractured self. Mm -hmm. I what I see in everything else else is just as beautiful. Mm -hmm. That don't get me wrong, in the midst of turmoil it's hard sometimes to maintain my practice, but mm -hmm. wow. You get so burned out, you forget how far you've come. Yeah. That burnout is blinded by a look straight, just forward. There's, you're not here. You're just, you're, you're up ahead trying to get. Well, it's, oh my God! If I could just get the satisfaction. The one over thing here. is, if if you're constantly scratching and clawing, mm -hmm. it's hard to see how far you have dug. Well, so to give an example, it's February. Uh -huh. 12 months ago in February, I was trying to get up the courage mm -hmm. to call a doctor to have the very first conversations about my mental health. Mm -hmm. I was in this room mm -hmm. at the very bottom, struggling with the reality I couldn't consciously go back to where I had been. 
Mm. People will want to ask, well, is that physically you can't know? I don't have a bunch of disclaimers on what I can do with my back other than I know I'm stupid. And I... Anyways, the point being, 12 months ago, mm. just 12 months, mm-hmm. um, I wasn't even able to pick up the phone to talk to my mother or my daughter or my brother. I was in such a point that they would call and I wouldn't pick up the phone. Mm. I've always tried to at least maintain a texting relationship with my mother, but even that was. And so this is the moment I start writing my book. Um, a close friend, relationships are complicated and take lots of diagrams, but one of my best friends, Brian Herb, who has seen life as well, um, came to me. And it was one of the first steps that helped get me out. It was, you need to write down your numbers. You need to figure out how stressed and how much anxiety and how much depression you're feeling. It was the big thing in all the therapy groups. Like, Mm -hmm. hey, write your numbers down. And he said, and you need to write if there's any invasive thoughts. Mm -hmm. And you need to write down if you've taken a shower. (laughs) Shower today, folks. That's why I know I'm constantly... Riding the razor's edge. I know that I'm right on the brink between the two. Yeah. And because I can see what I call tells. Yeah. That I, I know it means that. So, you ever been on a roller coaster? Yeah. You know that click, click, click sound as you're going up the hill? Yeah. Those are your tells. Right. Those are with anxiety and depression. You're figuring out how bad it is. You can right. feel them. Right. If you identify them, you can come off lower as opposed to going all the way up and falling. Mm-hmm. I know they're there. Mm-hmm. I see them. You know, I'll notice, yep, she didn't shave the neck today. If mm-hmm. I'm on my game, the neck's shaved. See, I think I think this time last February, I was like just starting to realize I had a problem. Yeah, because we... We were in, we were never in group therapy together, but no. we were at at the same place. Yeah, at the, around of. the same time. So at around similar time. I think yeah. I think you might have been in the 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 more spread out one where I was in the daily one. Well, I I did both. I, no, I know right, you I know, I know you, know, you did both, I, but you did it backwards. I did it backwards. Yeah, so it, Lefty for life, I think yo. the timing I think the timing worked out so that I was coming out of the hospital, you were going into the the uh like more advanced one. Um, and yeah, I was just starting to realize that I probably need to reach out to somebody because I feel these feelings that I, I haven't felt this strongly before. Um, I can't stop this feet. Oh, (laughs) no, not like that. I can't fight this feeling anymore. Ross has a much prettier voice than I I can do a little bit of John, but I can can rough it up. I can Every once in a while, I can do Bo- David Bowie. David Bowie. But that's all. I have to listen. To I have some. to listen. Yeah, I gotta. I gotta hear it. Because it's to, slightly to figure it out. Well, once you learn Liverpool, Bowie's not a stretch. Okay. Is my my thought that okay. w- once you get the boys down. <laughs> yeah, they're very similar. They're very similar. You they're just gotta similar. know where to talk. Yeah, they talk like this. There's one down low. I think they're talking the throat. They're talking the throat a little bit. Well, especially John. John's yeah. way, but John's down here. Yeah. See, John's right there. You can tell the difference. I can't. I can't do. I think. I don't think I can do like. Uh, now I can't get into John. Oh, I don't. I'll think never I can be do John ball. again. Now. You never be John. No, I'm the walrus. The f- Cuckoo, kachu. <laughs> or am I the Eggman? I always forget. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Do, 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 do. Well, I'm pretty sure I know what year it is. It's 2022. That, well, so last summer we were doing all the fires. I will say the no, last. No, wait a minute. I, I got to do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm having recap? people checking me on years here. Recap? I'm going, wait a minute. Last year we mm-hmm. had fires, right? Yeah. And okay. that, that was when and that was right was after starting therapy. to tone down. Well, they said. At least it, they, it was, they claimed, it and then it started. Went the other it was way. starting to tone down, and then it just. And then we ran back into our hole again. Yeah, pretty much. Then we like. Ah. Everybody got scared again. Plague, plague. Well, um, actually, I don't think people are scared now, but. That's funny. Yeah. 
It's very confusing. Yeah, it's very confusing the state that we're in right now because it's like half of the people are scared of the new viruses and half of the people are kind of like, well, I'll just go outside anyways. I'll go see well, it, I think the greatest disservice we did our kids in this country is there was mm -hmm. no unified answer answer yeah that's that that's i think true. the most disrupting thing to children isn't necessarily that there's a pandemic i think they're confused how to feel about it. i yeah, was i definitely was because it was i was getting from some people oh this is horrible this is the worst thing that's ever happened to us and i was getting from some people oh it's not that big a deal it's not that bad and i'm like how am i supposed to feel about this i i have a, our friend iggy garcia that yeah. does uh, drums and is a shaman, an amazing guy. Yeah. Um, you know, he was in the hospital just re I mean, he just got out. He's yeah. just off the oxygen finally like, a few days ago. My mom and my stepdad had it like, my stepdad had it like three times. And my mom had it like twice. So. Ouch. It, it's crazy. It's, it's where do you stand? Yeah. Talk about burnout. Yeah. I've probably had it like three times by now. And I'm, I'm, I might have it right now because I'm feeling a little sick. But, <laughs> but like, I don't know. I don't know. It's it's I mean we we're vaccinated though I mean it's yeah, not yeah. it's just we're at the point where you're like how do how do you know yeah you know that it, that I don't take this in the wrong way I um, almost didn't get the vaccination and then my my cousin who who is a I want to say a he's somewhere in the medical field um and he was like he was like get the vaccine like seriously go get it like don't don't hesitate don't don't just go get the vaccine. And I was like, no, okay, absolutely. I'm I'm gonna take your I'm gonna take your advice. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna go get it. Oh, you have to. Yeah. I, you know what? That the weird thing is, so like the big dilemma is, oh my gosh, they're making us get vaccines. It's like, oh my gosh, are your kids in public schools? Right. They have there to have get been vaccines vaccine anyways. mandates yeah. my entire life. I'm yeah. pretty sure. I, that's the only. I mean, I was kind of like, um, kind of weird. Okay, but we've been. At, I mean, that's always my entire life. Vaccine mandates have been a thing of some I variety. I mean, I was worried about like all the crazy conspiracy theories about vaccines, but also I kind of knew like, okay, but I could also get COVID and just die. So that was my outlook. Uh, whatever's going to happen is going to happen. I'm just going to get the vaccine just to be safe, I guess. If you're going to selfishly you know? play the odds, the vaccine's the way to go. I, mean, I definitely you, think so. Even at reported levels of, you know, weird yeah. side effects, I, you're bet the other way. Yeah. Well, the thing is, I think it's another one of those things that if you constantly beat your head over it, you're never going to make a decision. So you might as well just pick one and stick to it. You know, I, that's that's kind of my opinion on the whole thing is pick one, stick to it. Well, the... and, and don't I, I would I would say don't like, I don't know, I, I would say don't broadcast your choice, but I kind of just did. So, well, no, I, I think I don't think we tried to do it that way. I think we were having an honest conversation about what our feelings were. And you even admitted mm -hmm. that you were uncertain. I don't I don't. Mm -hmm. This is a show about not putting on a show, so you'll see yeah. that sometimes we go in directions that are unexpected. Right. Especially on Fridays. Fridays and Mondays are Fridays main. Are Fridays and Mondays are supposed to be all over the place. Yeah. Kind that, of. That's when we Let get loose. ready for the weekend yeah. or get back from the weekend, as right. the case may be. Right. You know, that the place to find us is Studio586B.online or yes. YouTube, Studio586B, yes. or Facebook, Studio586B, or, you know what, I would see the post, but the Reddit... Studio 586B is up, but not overly active. The web page is, eh. I know the guy designing it. He's not very good. Maybe somebody will help him someday. I can give you some help. I've, I've looked well, at website design stuff before. I probably should look at it a little bit more. But I know. think it's that I don't like the tool. You don't like the, the, the... I really feel like what I should be able to do is let me lay it out and then just turn on buttons where I want them. Right, right, right. You know, and it, it's a little more pieces and legos and well, there's it stacks in a way i don't particularly like so i may have to look at other themes there's supposed to be different like sites that give you different levels of control and ease of hmm. uh no we've got stability i guess uh it's one of the top sites it's yeah. i've used them for it's the same place i've used for okay. blogs I'll, it's bluehost okay um that's who um all of our domains are through we actually have six domains that eventually may be used for something but that way right. we have a hold on them right that I mean, we've got 586b.us if you want a really short one. Right. We've got 586b.org. Uh -huh. Believe it or not, we actually do have studio 586b.com, but the idiot that set it up <laughs> accidentally set it up so dot .online was our main website. So now he's tried to invest on the idea that he can go, 
If you want to find Studio 586B online, just remember to put the period. <laughs> Studio 586B. Dot online. Dot online. That's right. If you want to find Studio 586B online, it is at Studio 586B. Dot online. Online. <laughs> Absolutely true. True. In story. line and on time. Brother, all it is is waiting for the right way, man, and having right? a board in hand. Right? We're there. We're there. Yeah. I I'm telling you, we're there. I'm telling you, if you think a year, mm -hmm. a year, like, as a real thing, yeah. you go, wait a minute, only 12 months well, ago. If you think about it, it's been about, I want to say, nine to eight months since we met. Close to that, like June or July. Yeah. June or July is what I think it was. It was summer. And I want to say, I want to say, like, the past month is when we really like i know we've been posting for it since like the 10th oh yeah but well, and here's this and that, i'd say here, the there's past, some movies in december the past month to month and a half is when we really like kicked it in the second gear well i think we had to find some of it is finding our voice yeah uh, it sounds silly no it takes um, time it takes time to find your stride well and some of it was a overcoming fear and yeah. then you get burnout on the fear and right. then you're in your way right. and then so maybe it's cyclical this whole burnout and then thing. you're and then you're posting stuff and you're worrying about if your analytics are high enough so that more oh people my God. i don't and... i don't my my route has been specifically i'm not selling anything and I, to the frustration of everybody else involved i am a hell of a salesman well later on and i won't sell nothing well later on today i have to i have to do some things on the on the, the other computer the websites and things I gotta no, absolutely, do some absolutely. SEO research so that people can find the podcast. So do you know what SEO means? Because I'll tell you what, I got a thing here that says it handles SEO, but I'm like, what the hell search, is SEO? So search engine optimization. Oh is my gosh. Basically... We will never talk about this on the air. <laughs> okay. Never ever. Okay. Minutia, I say. Okay. Minutia, minutia, minutia. Well, I got to figure it out. Even no, 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 no. What I meant was, yeah, yeah. The, <laughs> Even if you guys don't, I gotta figure. It out. As exciting as that might be, mm -hmm. remember to rest in the pieces. Yeah. It makes it easier to see how they go back together. Mm. That we have been in that situation with a lot of pieces, and it is that when you relax, when you go, eh, in our case. Yeah, no, we just you just do it every day. Right. That Work part, it that, every day. that hard part of the hard part is okay. We just have, you just have to do it every day. Yeah, and you'll get there eventually. Um, things will improve, and hopefully we won't get burnt out doing this part. I don't think we will. I I, think, this is this part's actually pretty easy. I I I enjoy it more than some of the pieces I'm burnt out on doing. Yeah, me too. There's, I mean, there's physical ass like I, the house needs remodel. I mean, crap. There's you know, also you name it. There's also burnout before you do things. I I get that a lot. Oh, you get I in just, your head. I just I I get in my head about it, and I'm like, I don't want to do this. I I want to go sleep. I, that's what I need to do. That yep. That's what we need to do right now. Sleep is more important than doing what I need to do. <laughs> it's, it's, you know what? You it's know? kind of funny that I think. Major part of self care in our world is naps. Right now, it doesn't fit the normal work schedule. As you can see, we're going to need donations to figure out a way that I can afford to still take naps. That sounds really wrong. Like all I'm doing is taking naps. No, what I'm doing is working in the morning, and I'm working in the afternoon, and right. I'm working at night, and right. and then because I'm on medication that makes me sleep, I will say this: I do make sure I get six to eight hours. I get yeah. six to eight hours of sleep every night without fail because I'm on medicine that kicks me in the butt if I don't. I will say I'm getting a little bit better at going to sleep when I want to. That's and a good thing. I, I'm doing a little bit better at that. It's a key to avoiding burnout. Yeah. Is sleep when you're sleeping. Yeah. I, that sounds... I'm going to wax poetic. Mm -hmm. Sit when you're <laughs> sitting, drink when you're drinking, sleep when you're sleeping. Mm -hmm. That all of life is a meditation. Mm -hmm. Every inch of it, especially those inches. Mm -hmm. Be grateful for the water. Be grateful for the sleep. Mm -hmm. Find your peace in your day. Find your good. Don't go to sleep dwelling on mm -hmm. the mistakes. Beyond the fact that you know you're good and you'll work at it. Right. You'll, you'll give it some time and some thought. 
as much as you give other people the forgiveness of being human, mm -hmm. try to remember forgiving all living things includes you. Being compassionate to all living things. Includes You're a living yourself. thing. Self-care is real care, folks. Yes. Um, can't Avoid wait the burnout. Avoid the fried days. Right? Try that... and work through it. Figure out a way. That kind of rhymed. That's funny. It did kind of rhyme. No, it, it kinda didn't kind of rhyme. It rhymed. <laughs> why, did, why did I say kind of? I don't... kind of rhyme. <laughs> Not all the way. No way and day. That's, but a little that's bit. Pretty, pretty spot on, I think. Was it in black all the way through? No, it wasn't. I see it. Okay. I see it. Up. I see the video and everything. Thank you all. Yep. Thank you, guys.